What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. In the last episode we got a canary chick, took it back to its mother, and learned another part of this melody that we're apparently collecting. Uh, and I'm recording this episode kind of right after I did the last one, because uh, I decided that I wanted to include stats for some enemies in this game that you can run into. And um, I'm going to go back for the, to the first episode and like to use annotations because I can't really, you know, edit the video now that it's uploaded. But yeah, uh, I'm only going to be showing stats for enemies I run into for the first time. Ooh! Like, for example, you should see one pop up here now. Um, I'm not going to show all the stats. Uh, they all have, they have stats like we do, like they have force and wisdom and all that stuff. But I'm only going to show, like, offense, defense, uh, HP, PP if they have it, and speed, because those are really the more important ones. Yeah, um, so, yeah, if they have something notable, I'll, I'll probably say it in battle. Like, some enemies explode. Hippies obviously don't explode. Um, I'm glad I ran into him, because that pushed me into that. <laughs> um, right now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get enough money to buy the baseball bat. Or, there's a, there's a bat in the store, and I kind of want to buy it, so... I'm gonna try to grind around for a little bit, uh, picking up some money. You gotta you gotta kind of go off the beaten path though, because in it, it seems in towns that there's like some areas that you won't run into enemies. Um, so I might cut ahead. If I run into something, I'll if I run into something we haven't encountered, I'll I'll leave it in and bio it just like before. But yeah, so hopefully hopefully those look all right because. You know, I've never decided to include stats in an LP before, because this is my, like, this is only my third LP. Hopefully you guys enjoy that, so I, I will be trying to find all the enemies as well. I, I might go out of my way to find them all. I have a list here now. Um, let's see if we can run into something new. Nope, hit me again. Alright, well, I'm going to cut this battle. Alright, and uh, I said I wasn't going to show, like, ah, uh, god, there's so many of these. It's another hippie. I said I wasn't going to show, like, Wisdom and Force and all that, because, they, like I said, they, they don't really change the game that much, because they're usually about on par with what you should be. Let's heal up. Um, and if it's if it's a big enough difference, I'll, I'll point it out, but it, it rarely ever is, and there's going to be some enemies that we never fight, but we're going to run the hell away from, and you'll, you'll, we'll get to those later on in the game. I've come back to save just to see how much cash we have in the bank. 142, so that gives us... 456. Alright, so we only have a few more battles that we need to go for, and 55 more experience and we'll save up. Uh, yes, I'm going to save. Oh, and uh, if you if you decide to click rest, it'll just restart your Nintendo system. Or your emulator. Okay, right, let's go back out and grind up just a little bit more. Ah, excellent! Wally. Wally's a good guy. Besides the uh, pseudo zombie that you can find in this area, he will give you the most um, experience. He's real slow, but he's got a decent. He, he he's decent for one of the early enemies. I like him. I just like that he's Wally. But yeah, I'll um and ugh, um the description in italics that I put on there is actually the in-game description. It's nothing that. Like, sometimes it's helpful, but sometimes it's not. And, uh, also I forgot to mention this, but you might have noticed it in one of the other battles. I'm just gonna leave this in. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna... Take him out, take him out. Don't you steal anything of mine. Oh, I started laughing. Sometimes, yeah, uh, so I'm glad I'm leaving this in. Sometimes they'll do attacks that don't do anything, or they'll lower your stats, or, in the case of the hippie, he'll go into a rage and it'll up his, uh, it'll up his attack. So, yeah, they can change their stats every once in a while. Alright, I've grinded up a little bit. Uh, another crow came along and stole the other orange juice I had. Those bastards, they, they don't want us to have any connection with our sister. And I believe I've got enough money now to uh, get the bat that I want. Um, cash card. Withdrawal. Excellent, 539. So that's a little more than we need. So let's withdraw 500 and go buy the bat, and I'll show you how to equip that. Uh, not in drugs. Sports goods, this should be it. 
Welcome, what can I sell you? Oh, no, 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 no. Jumping ahead. Um... Uh, Ness is the only one that can use baseball bats. Anyone can use the slingshot, but I don't know. There's just something about the slingshot that I don't like. Uh, but we are gonna buy this bat. Yes, excellent, excellent. Uh, no. Alright, whoops. Keep doing that. Now, to equip something, you just go to your goods, and you use it, and it'll equip it. And I believe that puts the plastic bag back in our inventory, so let's talk to him and see if we can sell it. Oh, I guess you can't sell items here? Or what? Huh. I thought you could sell items. Maybe th maybe you can, and I'm just not... Ah. Goods, let's see. Um... Oh, well. I can't figure it out. We'll talk to him one more time. Can I, what can I sell you? Nope. Unless Returns is on the first floor. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so... Uh, you. Whoops. How may I help you? Do you have something to return? Yes, okay, so Returns is on the first floor, and they will buy back your items. They'll always give you half of what it's worth to, to buy, so... App apparently this was 80 bucks to buy. And now... We have the wooden bat equipped, which ups our offense quite a bit. Alright, let's head out into the world and figure out what's going on. We'll head to the southern part of the town. Um, this guy looks a little interesting. Let's talk to him. If I can face him, there we go. Zombie! Oh no! Yep, this guy's always going to be a pseudo-zombie, and these are the most dangerous enemies that you can encounter near the Podunk area. They have a lot of attack power, a lot of HP, and they're just all around not nice guys, but we took him out fairly easily. So, yeah. <laughs> not much to say about those pseudo-zombies. Uh, now, you should run into more by yourselves, and I think this guy might also be a pseudo-zombie. Haha, you shall become a zombie. Yep. So we got another pseudo-zombie here. Yeah, you definitely wanna you definitely wanna take these guys out, but they'll they'll give you a good amount of XP. More than Wally will. I think I don't know how I think there's like one or two enemies that I haven't gone over yet. We're heading south now because I think the cemetery might be down this way. Take out this hippie, this stupid hippie. Look how much damage we do now. We do 19 damage, which I don't know how much damage or how much HP hippies have. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go towards the cemetery and see if we can find that girl. Healer's house west beyond bridge. Cemetery, abandon all hope, ye who enter. Well, that's a big confidence booster from the get go. Should have left that battle in because we can take snakes out and. And one hit along with Wally. Hey, Mr. Bat. New enemy. Let's take him out. I don't know much. Well, apparently, they don't have a lot of HP, apparently. I said apparently twice. Redundancy. And okay. We've advanced to the next level. Fight has increased by two. Speed has increased by three. Wisdom has increased by three. Strength by three. Force by three. Finally, something that's not a 3, HP by 6, and maximum PP by 4. Okay. So that was a fairly good level up. Ooh, gang zombie. These guys are a little tough. They have quite a bit of defense to them. And apparently a good amount of offense, too. See, this is why I told you you want to level up till you learn, um... Uh, life up because you can heal yourself and we'll recover HP so yeah and it doesn't take up that much PP so it's very good to have this early in the game and there's the cemetery let's head on in I forgot the music in here changes I love it well we can head into here and see what's going on since it's a rounded door I'd like to stop the zombies evil ways but they don't listen to me or won't even talk to me now I'm too scared to leave this place. No, well, he gets to stay here in this, uh, I forgot what these are called. I call them vampire dwellings, because of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um... Just 
another Mr. Bat. I'll leave this in since we can take them out so easily. You're looking. We're looking for a hole to jump down into. Ooh, ghost. Here's a new enemy. They apparently have a good amount of offense. I need to. I need to research. Uh, since I'm doing this um, immediately after, I, I haven't done research on this area, so. Yeah, I, I will be planning on that, but since I'm trying this new uh, show the stats out for enemies things, yeah, I'm gonna... It's gonna be a little off. Alright, well that ghost ran away. Sometimes enemies will run away as well, especially uh, one in the, in the later areas of the game. I'm completely lost. Alright, um... It's hard to get through all these objects. Like I said, the since it's such an old game, some of the con the controls are really kind of stiff, and they feel broken sometimes. Where the hell am I? There's what I'm looking for. This hole right here. We'll go down this long staircase and run into an enemy. Ooh, here's a new uh, mechanic. You can actually get attacked by more than one enemy at a time. This becomes crucial later in the game because some enemies can call in other enemies. Did I miss? Ah, oh, apparently these guys are good at dodging. I'm just gonna keep attacking until- there we go, finally. Um, I can't remember how many you can run- I can't remember the max you can run into. Hey, smashed him. Overkill there. But this, maybe the girl came down here. Oh god, there's three, four, there's four in this battle. Um, this might be a good chance to run. Oh, it didn't work, so we're gonna get hit four times. Sometimes it's easier to just run. Yeah, and sometimes, it, it they have some weird things that go on. Alright, excellent, we ran away. Uh, let's make it in without getting attacked again. Alright, we took a lot of damage in that. My HP's down to 11, so let's... Let's use life up again. And... 31 HP. Alright, not bad. Uh, I can't remember which one she's in. I want to say it's... This one. Nope! I was wrong. It's just a pseudo-zombie. And... They're not as bad as the other enemies in this area. But they do do a shitload of damage. Uh, this one then. I'm so good at this game. Yeah, if if you don't get the right ones, there there's gonna be a pseudo zombie in it. And did we miss? We did. We missed. That's not good. You can also heal yourself in battle, but uh, I'm hoping to make it through this battle without having a heal. All right. Is it this one? There we go. Hello, Pippi. You must be Pippi because you look like Pippi Longstockings. Let's talk. Hi, I'm Pippi, and I'm lost. <laughs> what a brave boy you are to have found me. Yes. <laughs> Don't get so swell-headed, ha ha ha. Now let's go back into town. Oh, I should have said no. If you say no, she'll join your party, and she's actually really strong. Oh, I think she... Is she part of my party now? I think she is. Um... I'm going to... Well, we have 28 HP. We can take out a pseudo-zombie. She will actually help you, and if you have a slingshot, you can give her a slingshot, since she's, um... a temporary party member, and she will attack. She'll help you attack. She's actually quite a bit useful. So, Nintendo will do 19 damage. Uh, he'll do 7 damage. And Pippi will do 2 damage. Huh. Never mind. I thought Pippi was stronger than that. Anyway, she, she is kind of helpful. Alright, you can level her up just like anyone else, but she's only a temporary party member. I just ran away from that one. Alright, now let's head back up to the...
see, for example, Pippi advance to the next level. So her fight has increased, blah, blah, blah. She's actually getting some better level ups than we are. Five and four, but the rest of them are kind of shit. Um, I, sh I should have cut in earlier into that battle, and I might. So if I cut in a random point, it'll be to show off that uh, if you're too overzealous about attacking the enemy and you have the same enemy be attacked by two different people and one of them takes him all right i'm just gonna wait because i forgot where i was already saying uh if you have if you attack the same the same if you attack the same enemy with two different people and one of them knocks it out you'll waste that the uh the remaining person's turn because it'll say something like bat a was not there so you got to be careful about that and spread out your attacks really love the music here too just the music the music for the mother series has always been one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> that is the most annoying thing, like I said about this game. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Is all the random encounters. I will say that at points this game can be unplayable. So let's hope to get out of here before we run into too many more. It's gonna, it's inevitable. Huh, well that wasn't too bad. And we're back to the cheery, happy music. We can still run into enemies, but I hope it's going to be a little less. Ooh, there we go. Cutting in at the end of this battle to show that. That's what it looks like when you learn a new PSI power. It doesn't tell you what it is, but you can go to here, and it is Defense Up Alpha. And there you can scroll through if you have a lot more. So down there at the end, and that'll up the defense for one person in, the, in your party. So we could potentially raise the defense for Pippi. But why would we do that? Because we're more important than she is. You know, I might start leaving him in like I just... I might have left that in. Because, you know, we're, we're so, we're so over-leveled that the enemies that we run into, we could just take out in one hit. Like, that. So, I might just leave in the ones that we could take out in one hit. Otherwise, I'm gonna off-screen them. Alright. This is gonna be a fucking long episode. I, I, I should've cut when we got too pippy. But I decided to keep talking. So, we're gonna just take her up to... Um... The mayor and see what he's got to say. Is she the lost girl, Pippi? Well, that's just great. I knew that you could fulfill your civic duty. Applause, applause. Now, pretty Pippi, don't forget to tell your mom that the mayor saved you. Here, I will give Nintendo a prize of 100. 100 what? Was that $100? I think it was. By the way, hero, maybe you'd like to go and see what's up at that zoo. All right, we'll check out the zoo. Apparently, the animals have escaped. Yes, you'll go. Great, great, great. Now make sure you get a key from my assistant, Abbott. Let's, what do you got to say? Now it's time to say goodbye. Please come by my house and I'll be waiting there to see you again. By the way, do you think my hair needs styling? No. You didn't have to answer, cutie. Alright, uh, let's talk to Abbott. Can we talk to him from across the table? Yeah, we can. This key will open the zoo's, will open the zoo's gate. Now don't lose it. Alright. Alright, well let's, since we're already going long, I might just cut this into two parts. Let's head up and uh, go back to our neighbor's house and see what Pippi wants to give us. That was almost great. There's one more enemy rolling around here, I think, that we haven't run into yet. And I'm kind of hoping we run into him. And it's not the crow, that's for sure. Like I said, this game might seem unplayable at times just because of the encounters, but trust me, it gets way worse. <laughs> I want to thank you again for your help. Pippi is fine now. 
I've heard about your wonderful adventures. You are so brave, aren't you? Yes. Don't get so swell-headed, ha ha ha. What happens if we say no? <laughs> You're brave. I hope we can meet again sometime. Yes. I'm so happy. Now to show my gratitude, take my gift. This shiny badge will guard you. Keep it. And I believe we got the Franklin badge. Whoops. Goods. Yep, Franklin Badge. And if we look to see what it does, it says Franklin Badge. Legend says that Ben Franklin wore this reflective badge during his experiments with lightning. Basically, that's saying that it'll, um, defend, it'll deflect lightning. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut here, and off-screen I'm gonna go save. So, I will see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.